aluminum framing construction. They're pre-built panels, so all the rails are attached to them. Uh, precision fabrication, super, super lightweight. You're going to see that here in a moment. And then it fits grills all the way up to 42 inches. So that's your big size grills. Now, Gino's got a project this year that the homeowner wants a 60-inch grill. And he asked me, hey, can we do that on this cabin system? The answer is yes, but there's got to be some more modifications. You're pulling the grinder out. You're cutting and shimming and shaking. So really designed up for a 42-inch grill for fast installation with minor modifications for larger grills if you need to. 60-inch grill, I mean, that's just a massive grill. So as far as lightweight, here's an example of a contractor in the area. Mark, are you here? Mark. This is Mark's crew here. And uh, this is him. This is three guys picking up equivalent to 11,040 backers of concrete. That's five and a half tons of concrete. And, Jay, and Jason was telling me, Mark, if you correct me, please, how far would you guys have had to carry those backers to install this project? So you'd have had to carry each backer individually 50 feet to build that item right there. And you're able to take these cabinet systems and just build it right there in place and lift it in. Huge help. Yeah. So 11,040 pounds of concrete. We talk about labor. This is a top five, guys. This is an opportunity to take a note. This is absolutely a top five labor efficiency, making your guys happier. Now it's fun. They're getting to work with different materials, not just concrete. It's easy to learn. Truly, guys, I really believe this. Your, 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 your new guy that's been on with you for a week can build these things, truly. Uh, build verticals in hours, not days. Hours, not days. Minimum experience required. It's movable like what Mark's shown here in the video. It, kind of, it combines seamlessly with the backers. So in the case that you want to maybe put a planter off the side of one, you could do just like what Jason's project had, where it had the rail system on the foundation and the backers. You can add a planter off the side. And just to give you an idea, one grill cabinet replaces about 3,600 pounds of concrete, two tons of concrete that you don't have to move by hand. Your hands are going to feel better for it at the end of the day. So we have two profiles as far as the way we like to see the base constructed. If you're going to do a single unit, let's just say it's a bar with a fire table or just a bar or a grill island, we're okay with you guys putting it on just a standard aggregate base with base pads to keep it level and then tap con those, the, those units down to the base pad. If in the event that you want to start doing more larger kitchens, like what's shown here on the, on the, in the showroom when you walked in, like an L shape, we're asking that you put it on a footer. Now, I know a lot of you guys put Tuscany fireplaces or bars, and you put them on uh, aggregate bases. We're going to be very conservative when it comes from Unilock on this case. We wanna, we're not trying to say, hey, this thing's heavy. What we're trying to say is we're trying to protect the three or four or six thousand dollar investment of the granite that's on top of these. If this thing moves ever so slightly, that granite's going to crack, and then we're going to have an unhappy customer. Let's do the base right to protect that granite. That's really the big point here. The other nice thing is that we don't show here is the opportunity for decks. A lot of you guys work up at vertical, up in, on decks, you're building decks. Now we can have a stone outdoor kitchen up on top of a, a wood deck or a, a Trex deck or something like that. So another opportunity for you guys there for lightweight. So we have three main components with the grill cabinets uh, the, for our modular system. And then there's uh, some additional accessories or one-off units that I'll show you here in a moment. You have a grill cabinet that's, again, up to a 42-inch grill. You have a corner cabinet to be able to do a return, or if you just want to extend the grill a little bit to have a little buffet on the end of it. Um, you have a base cabinet, like what you see here, which the base cabinet is identical in size to the grill cabinet. And then you have an end clad that you're going to buy separately. The end clad is what's going to give you the opportunity to finish the cabinets on the end. We've designed this system to be as a la carte as possible. If you, you, know, you don't have to have the fries with that if you don't want to in this case. So you can have a grill cabinet attached to another grill cabinet, and you're not forced to buy the end clad in between there. So if you want to combine units, you can bolt those together like this. So in most cases, pretty much almost every case, you're going to put an end clad on the end. You're going to use two end clads on every project. So if it's just a grill, you have one on each end. If you're going to have an L shape that's illustrated over here, you're going to have one on each end again, right? So typically, you're going to have two end clads on every project. So then as far as those one-off things that I spoke about. So the corner unit, we have what's called a wide oversized corner cabinet. So in the event that you want to have your grill 
cabinet be a little deeper because you have a bigger grill and the hood is really big, you can make that grill cabinet bigger by putting a corner cabinet on the end and then it'll return for the L and go to the standard size. Or we have a wide end clad unit. So you just, instead of using the standard end clad, you'll put the wider in there. And guess what, guys? All this has been designed so no cuts all the way around the panels. So you're just stacking panels up, just clicking them and going. So then we've also designed a backsplash unit that goes on top of these. They've got them in a few different lengths, depending on what you need. And we're, we're encouraging that you only stack them up if you want to go vertical with these, only too high. We don't want you to go over any more than too high. You're going to screw these with self-tapping screws together. We just, we're just worried about, as we go higher, any movement uh, like, uh, and rocking and things like that, like uh, with people pushing on it and such. So I said, this is, I said pillars are going to change for what you know it for Yukara. So we've developed a pillar cabinet with this. So you, now we have a, a cabinet that you're going to be building a pillar and literally under a half hour where Yukara was a little bit more of a challenge with the backers, the clips, the pan. There were a lot of moving parts there. We're now slapping out pillars really fast, and we have a huge 14-inch opening in the center for any existing pergola posts, and you can build around these posts now, and that's something that's really nice and unique. So similar to the Yukara where it gave you guys, or Rivercrest pillar where it gave you that opportunity to have that void space in the middle. So um, the grill cabinet is what you see here. It's got a, an opening for a door already de predetermined. We are supplying the door as a separate SKU for this year, or for, for going forward, because it was designed specifically around this one door that we have uh, that we're going to be supplying. Um, the grill cavity, you, it's really kind of hard to see, but that aluminum goes all the way across. Okay, so I'm going to do it over here as well. That aluminum top bar goes all the way across. What you're going to see as you walk up to the display, we've cut that, and that's where the grill is going to slide in. So that's where I say it's good for any size grill up to 42. You're going to cut that, that aluminum with an angle grinder for your size grill that you have. Once you make your cut, right, here and here, we're, it includes struts that are going to be installed that's going to go back, and they're going to be screwed in to the angle iron. And that's what's going to give you your support for your countertop as well as your grill. That's all included, and all the hardware is included as well. So let's take a look at a, really quickly at an L-shaped assembly. This is two guys that have installed your car before. They, they understand the cabinet system, uh, and they have all the pieces and components sitting there for them. They are making all the cuts that they need to around the door, because you will make cuts around doors and around grills, and I'll explain that. Uh, but these guys are doing everything from start to finish, and I'll show you this. Uh, the tools needed. So I'm sorry, I thought that was uh, this next slide. It's coming up. So this, uh, this uh, L-shaped bar here, this is one grill cabinet here, one base cabinet here, corner cabinet in the back, two end clads on each end, and then the backsplash, you have two different backsplashes, one for the grill and then one for the corner cabinet backsplash. The saw's sitting there, they're able to cut inside because they got the IQ dustless saw. They're, right now he's cutting around that door cavity, you see him kind of the one in yellow focusing on the door. Now, they're using the 3-inch series panel. The 3-inch series panel doesn't come as a closed end. So it's a, it's a half panel, half height. So they do have to 45 every one of those uh, on, on the corners right here, right? So going back, all these corners on those series bands are 45. So the, all the cuts they had on this was the series band, around the door, around the grill. And then you do have to make one cut on each, on one, on, you have to make one cut per course where any time you do a corner coming in, into play. Um, and we'll show you, you'll see that in, illustrated over here. So they did that, sorry, they did that in a minute, an hour and 34 minutes. Not a minute and 34, but they did it in one hour, 34 minutes. The thing is here is we're building in hours, not days. Now, I'm not saying you guys are going to sell this thing and be done in an hour and a half. We're just saying in a controlled environment, this is what you're going to see. And obviously your first job is going to be a little longer, but your efficiencies are definitely going to go, go up as you go. So packaging, how is this stuff packaged? That's a big question. So when you get it packaged, when it gets delivered to your job site, this is what it's going to look like. This is actually four built grill units here. One, two, three, four with some end clads kind of tucked it. Oh, doggone it. With some uh, end clads kind of in the center right here. So this is wrapped with cardboard and then just uh, some, uh, some banding to keep that cardboard. So this is aluminum. I want you to be very careful as you throw it in your truck, you're not putting a pallet on top of it. I want to make sure you're not putting the straps down, you're reaping those straps and 
bending the aluminum. I want to be very careful. So I've unboxed all the packaging off of this cabinet. Here you've got a front and a back. And then comes packaged with it is the center cross parts. Inside the center cross parts is a bag with all your nuts and bolts to complete the project. So with that, that's the packaging. And at this point, we're gonna to go to a live demo and we're gonna we're gonna come over to the side. We're gonna come over here. Super lightweight, guys, super lightweight. Um, so what we have when you guys come over here, you have the base cabinet. This is the standard, standard uh, uh, base cabinet that you would put fridges in, maybe a fire table. You have the corner cabinet and then the grill cabinet that we've just moved in place here. So with the, the base cabinet, you have options to put in accessories and appliances in here, okay? So when you come up here and take a look, you're gonna see the vertical struts. Now there's two different sides to this. You, it doesn't matter which one you put where. If you use this side, the joists between the here, the, the, the vertical uprights, are in thirds. So you'll be able to fit about 80% of the appliances that are sold for outdoor appliances. So if you want two drawers here, you want a trash compactor right here, if you want to do that, you want an ice chest, you could do that. If you have a client that's like, hey, I just need to store a lot of beer or pop, you could flip this guy around, and on the back side, the center one is wider. So we could put a bigger fridge in. This will fit the small fridges that you can get in the market, and that'll be for more for the big fridges, right? So um, the corner cabinet is simple, uh, straightforward. It's, uh, it only comes two-sided when you buy it because it's designed to be a corner, but you can buy an additional, uh, it's not an end clad, what we call it a back panel. So if you do want to take, say, this bar and just make it 27 and a half inches longer, you can finish this end right here. But again, we're trying to sell this to be a la carte so you can connect it here to another unit and then on this end, we have an end clad, right? So at this point, we're going to move on to the grill. We're going to go, that's good right there. We're going to move on to the grill, and we're going to start building this thing. Um, we're going to start hanging the panels and uh, kind of show you how this goes. Now, we put the door on here on the beginning to show you what the door is going to look like when you walked in, but you're going to put the door in last. So he's just going to take that off real fast. And we're gonna start hanging our panels. And we're gonna start hanging our panels with our rights on this end right here. So you guys may or may not know, but when we package the corner panels, we, we, we package the corner panels with the rights on, and lefts on the same layer. Now, when we package them on a pallet, there's four rights and there's three lefts on a panel for the corner panels. So we always encourage you to start with the rights first because you have more rights than lefts. So for example, you're going to be right, left, all the way up, and then you'll end with a right on the top. So you use the product efficiently with very little waste. The other thing I want to show is these guys are building and stacking here. You mind giving us a hand, Eric? As we, uh, as we started here, this is a corner panel. So this is the right, as you see right here. Hey, Josh, are we able to get a projection of the camera on uh, this screen as well? So as we're going, we start with a right on, on, on uh, the bottom, and then we start with a half corner. That's going to give us our half brick offset right here. So now Chris is hanging his left panel, and he's going to put his half, half brick right there. Left, 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 left. So this cabinet that we're building right now, so if you're going to do a standalone grill, you're going to have six cuts. The first cut's going in right here where Chris is right here. This is going to be for the door. So we've got one notch right here where it's been cut out, and then we have one that's been a rip cut. Again, guys, you're, you're, cutting, you're cutting panels, so it's like cutting pavers as far as thickness. Now, we're going to leave this end for demonstration purposes. We're going to leave it end wild as if we're going to do the return and finish it off on the end. We're left it open so you can see how it is uh, when it's shipped to you. Sorry, Chris. So now Chris is on his third course, and he's on his right. And he's going to hang in his, his half panel right there. And then this is going to be a right, a half, 
and then a right right here. And that's going to continue around. And he's going to finish with a half on the back side. And then he's using standard panels on the back side. Can I get two half panels? Let's, let's focus on the front. So now Chris is getting to his next two cuts on the project. So he's getting to his next two cuts on the project, which are at the top of the door. So we've got the first cut here. Now, the way this has been designed is that we won't have cuts on the side. The door is going to slide right on the inside. We're getting there, we're getting there. So for today's demonstration, we're gonna be putting a piece of our new Arcana product up here for our bar top. Of course, this is gonna be granite, right? You're gonna put panels first, countertop, cut out for your grill, and then your grill's gonna go on top. And then now we're getting into our last two cuts on the project. Again, we have, there's your half. Oh. So we have two cuts at the bottom door. We have two cuts at the top of the door. And then in this case with our grill, we have two cuts at the top. Cut on the left and then cut here. And then boys, we're going to put the grill top on and we're wrapping her up. I'll let you do the door. We'll, we'll get the grill. Now at this point, we're gonna throw the door in. This door is going in right in the panels. And right now, we're putting Chris inside only so that you guys can see what, what's going on. But let me open it up here. Chris, I'm gonna just move here. Everyone wants to say hi. So he's attaching these flanges right to those vertical struts that we saw in there. And these are self-tapping screws. All the screws come with the kit. It's in your way. So with that, guys, you know, again, big, big point that we're trying to make is that you guys are building verticals and hours, not days. Like, you guys could totally do this uh, with your, your new guy, right? They can build the, put the aluminum together. We're hanging panels. The other thing that's nice is being that it's aluminum, if a panel might not be hanging right, you can manipulate that aluminum a lot better than you could with the concrete backer if thing was just kind of cockeyed for some reason. So um, great system, efficiencies. A nice thing we're going to talk about is the U-Vision. And a lot of you guys are using U-Vision software. We have pre-built cabinets with panels already in the, the new update. So you'll be able to, oh, you want to see what a grill is going to look like? Click, and it's done, already just like what you see here. At this point, that concludes our Yukara talk and presentation.